In this case, you have a parallel plate capacitor whose capacitance is given to you as 20 microfarad. And this capacitor is connected to a battery whose voltage is 1 volt. What do you have to do? Well, you have to find out the net charge on this capacitor. And these are your given options. Well, now you might be tempted to apply the formula Q is equal to CV. So what happens? You can see that when this uncharged capacitor is connected to the battery, then the upper plate gets positively charged and the lower plate gets negatively charged. Right? And when the charging is complete, then Q is equal to CV. Right? And then from here, Q turns out to be 20 into 1 microcoulomb, that is 20 microcoulomb. And then you might take option A as the right option. But what if I tell you that you are wrong? What if I tell you that option A is incorrect? And in the competitive exam, you would have lost precious easy marks. Can you tell me where you went wrong? Well, look at the problem statement again. The question is not asking you to find out what is the charge on this capacitor. It's asking what is the net charge on this capacitor, right? So whenever we mention charge on the capacitor, this means that the magnitude of charge on either of the two plates of the capacitor. And in that case, 20 microcoulomb is the right answer. But here, net charge implies the summation of the charge on the positive plate and the negative plate. And in this case, you know that on the positive plate, the charge is plus 20 microcoulomb. And on the negative plate, the charge is minus 20 microcoulomb. Right? Which gives us the net charge as zero. So in this case, we have option C as the right answer. Now according to this problem, there are two conductors of irregular shape which are kept close to each other and connected to a battery of 50 volt. Now it is observed that the charge on one of these conductors is 2 microcoulomb. You have to find out what is the capacitance of this arrangement. And look at the options. You have to find out the capacitance in farad. Alright? Now what can be the key concept of this problem? Well, any two conductors which are placed near to each other have the capacity to store charge. Right? So this arrangement is a capacitor. Now how effective this capacitor is going to be depends upon other factors. But nevertheless, it is a capacitor and has the capacity to store charge. And whenever we are dealing with such kind of a setup, then you know that the equation Q is equal to CV is valid. Right? So if the charge on one of the conductors is plus 2 microcoulomb, then the charge on the other conductor has to be minus 2 microcoulomb, something like this. Right? And now we can use the equation Q is equal to CV to find out what is the capacitance of this arrangement. Using this, we have C is equal to Q upon V, right? where Q is the magnitude of charge on either of these two conductors and that is 2 microcoulomb. So this is 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 coulomb divided by 50 volt. And this gives us the unit as farad. And when we simplify this, we will get 4 into 10 raised to the power minus 8 farad as the capacitance of this arrangement. So in this case, you can take option B as the right option. 
So this problem is fairly simple. You have a parallel plate capacitor whose plates are square in shape with edge length as 40 centimeter, which makes the area as 40 into 40 centimeter square. The two plates are separated by a distance of 10 centimeter. And you also have been given with the value of epsilon naught. Okay. And you have to find out what is the capacitance in farad. Pay attention to the options. Right? So, a simple formula based question where we know that the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is A epsilon naught divided by D. Let's quickly put the values to find out what is the capacitance. So, C is equal to A is going to be 1600 centimeters square, or you can say 1600 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 meter square into 8.85 into 10 raised to the power minus 12 divided by and d is 0.1 meter which will give us this capacitance in farad simplifying this expression will give us the value of capacitance as 1.4 into 10 raised to the power minus 11 farad that's it so which option is right well yes option b in this case is the right answer. Now this problem talks about two parallel plate capacitors. The first one has the plate area of 100 cm square and the distance between the plates of this capacitor is 0.5 mm. The second one has the plate area of 500 cm square and you have to find out the distance between the plates of this capacitor given that both the capacitors have the same charge and the same voltage across their plates. So what is the key concept in this case? Well, the capacitance is defined as the ratio of charge to the voltage across the plates, which is just another way of saying Q is equal to CV. Right? So in this case, if the magnitude of charge is same on the two capacitors and the voltage across their plates is also same, this means that the capacitance of both the capacitors is same. Right? So, we have C1 is equal to C2. Or you can say, knowing that the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is A epsilon naught by D. This is A1 epsilon naught by D1 is equal to A2 epsilon naught by D2. And you would have noticed that the options are in centimeter. So you have to find out D2 in centimeter and not in millimeter. Alright, let's put the values here. A1 is 100 divided by 0.5 is equal to 500 divided by D2. And this gives us D2 as 2.5 millimeter. And in one centimeter, there are 10 millimeters. So this is nothing but 0.25 centimeter. Right? So although the area of the plates of the second capacitor is more, the separation between the plates is also more, such that the capacitance of the smaller capacitor and the larger capacitor are equal. Alright? So we have the answer in this case. You can take option D as the right value of the distance between the plates of the second capacitor. Now this problem is pretty interesting. In this case, there is a parallel plate capacitor which is charged to a voltage of V. Okay. Now what happens with the help of an insulating handle, the distance between the two plates of this parallel plate capacitor is increased. As a result, the potential difference between the plates, you have to tell, if it decreases, does not change, 
becomes zero or increases. So basically, you have to compare the old potential difference with the new potential difference across the plates of the capacitor. So let's assume that this is that parallel plate capacitor and when the voltage across its place is V, then let's say that the charge on the positive plate is plus Q and the charge on the negative plate is minus Q. Now think about this. Using the insulating handle, we have increased the separation between the plates. And this is why the charge on the capacitor before and after will remain the same, that is Q. Right? So here it is going to be plus Q, minus Q, and afterwards also it is going to be plus Q and minus Q. But what happens to the capacitance of the capacitor when the separation is increased? Well, you know that the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is inversely proportional to the distance of separation. Right? Which means that the new capacitance is going to be lesser than the old capacitance. And if the charge remains the same, then CV is going to be equal to C dash V dash. Right? And from here, V dash, which is the new potential difference, is C by C dash into V. And you can see that the ratio C by C dash is greater than 1, which implies that V dash is greater than V. So in this process, the voltage across the plates of this parallel plate capacitor has been increased. and you can see which option is right. Well, yes, option D in this case is going to be the right answer. The potential difference between the plates increases.